Hello guys. Happy Monday. Come on in. Deb here with Art and Grace. And if you hear this portion of the video, you're probably watching the replay. So put hashtag replay for me. So I know you were here. I like to come back and say hey to you. But hopefully you guys will pop on live with me. That is always more fun. So when you can be here live, pop on in at least for a while. And I'm going to show you what we're up to today. Got a cute one. I practiced a little bit earlier and so decided to go ahead and do this tonight. Hi, Brookie. Hi, Inga. Glad y'all are here. Thank you for sprinkling. Awesome. Glad you did that. Thank you. Thank you. That sure does help. Hey, Tanya. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Regina. Glad y'all are coming in. How was your Monday? Hopefully you guys had a good day and it wasn't too, too hard. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Sheila and Brenda. If I missed anybody, come back through. Hi, Cece. <laughs> Glad y'all are coming in. Hi, Vonda. Hey, Kim. It's so fun because a lot of you guys I see on replay, so I'm so happy when you pop in live. Hey, Leanne and Cindy. Hi, Minnie. Glad y'all are here. It makes me very happy. Tell me how your Monday was, guys. Okay, no problem, Marsha. I totally understand. It's hard to find a good time. You know, no matter what time I go, it's going to be bad for some people and good for others. And we're all in different time zones. So just is what it is. Hi, Cynthia. Brooke says she stayed in bed. I'm so sorry. I've had a yucky day, too. But I knew... If I went ahead and did this, I'd feel better. Hello, Teresa. Thank you, Regina, for sprinkling. Hi, Tana. Did I say hi, Cynthia? Hi, Gloria. Hi, Jill. I don't want to miss anybody. Glad y'all are here. Okay, so I've already um, used my multi-purpose sealer on my wood. And I've just put two coats on the wood. I did put a coat down here on this, but I don't think you really have to. But since I was doing the wood, I went ahead. Once it dried, I taped all around these edges because I want to kind of go quick and fast. And I didn't want to waste y'all's time doing that. Jerry's awake but having tummy issues. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Thank you, Christy, for sprinkling. Thank you, Kimberly, for sprinkling. Brenda, it's okay. It hurts. It's just, you know, oh, good, Tana, work from home. Oh, yeah, that, I bet you are. Thanks, Lisa, for sprinkling. You know, even just going to doctor appointments or doing those things we have to do can kind of wear you out. So, okay, guys, we're coming in with some brown. This is a really pretty raw sienna, and I'm going to use a baby wipe and give this kind of a wood look. Let me show you another one I did recently with the wood look. So this is kind of what you can do if you don't want to stain it is just use your baby okay. It hurts. It's just, you know, oh good, Tana. Work from home. Oh yeah, that, I bet you are. Thanks, Lisa, for sprinkling. You know, even just going to doctor appointments or doing those things we have to do can kind of wear you out. So, okay guys, we're coming in with some brown. This is a really pretty raw sienna. And I'm going to use a baby wipe and give this kind of a wood look. Let me show you another one I did recently with the wood look. So this is kind of what you can do if you don't want to stain it is just use your baby wipe and some brown paint. I believe I used um, burnt umber on this one, if I remember right. And this one today I'm doing a little bit lighter. I want it a little bit kind of a light brown. So I'm just taking my baby wipe, folding it over a few times. My hands will get very messy, and that's okay. You know, I kind of gave up on having nice nails because I'm just too hard. I just, I don't, I don't want to be neat. I want to get paint all over if I need to and not worry about it. So, so we're just wiping it on with this baby wipe. It puts it on there nice and thin, almost like a stain. And just gives it a pretty look. So it's just a really quick way to do it where you don't have the big mess of a stain. You don't have the smell of a stain. The drying time of a stain. And I can just get in here in these crevices and really rub it in there. And otherwise, if I hadn't taped it down, all that brown would be getting all over my base. And I don't want it on there. So 
this kind of helps with that. You think it's gorgeous? The, the sunflower, Brenda, thank you. You're so sweet. You like everything I do, and I appreciate that. I really do. You are very supportive, and I appreciate it. Okay. Let me get a little more paint out. You can put gloves on anytime you do something like this, but I just don't. I have gloves. I have gloves on this desk, but I'm just a very tactile person anyway. I like to feel things with my hands and, and do things with my hands, and, and I don't care about the mess. I can wash them later, right? You know? But if you have pretty nails, you can wear gloves. So just getting all the sides, everything done with this brown paint. And it's definitely personal preference on color and on how much you do. So you just kind of look at it, and when you like the look of it, you can stop. We're all different, so we all like a little bit different look and color and things. But this painting is going to be dark, so we're going to have a lot of blue and black and brown. So I needed a kind of a light color on this frame. That was my thought. So here we go. Now I can pull up the tape. This is Dollar Tree, no, Timu maybe. I think it's Timu, yeah, tape. So it works fine though. I haven't had any issues with it. If you're wondering, pretty much everything I've found there works good. I haven't really found anything that I didn't like. Hi, Debbie. You don't mind? See, me too, Brooke. I mean, you can just wipe them later, right, and clean them off, and we're all going to get a shower, so... But see what I mean about if you're not careful or you get it on the white, you're just going to have to clean that up so it kind of makes it really fast if you tape it. So that's good. I'm going to dry this really quick so that I don't continue to spread the brown paint anywhere. Here we go. And I'm going to read some comments while I do this. Hey, Elizabeth, your new favorite color? Oh, mermaid tail is so pretty. Yes, yes, I love it. It's similar to this. It's got more green in it. This is desert turquoise, but I do love it. I have a bottle, but I don't have it right here. Hi, Susan. Hey, Andrea. Hi, Terry. Glad y'all are coming in. You did, Cynthia? I'm so glad. So I was, I think, yeah, I did. I put a post up about these that I did last night. And they turned out really cute using the um, the torn book page or the, the colored book pages. And so that's what she's talking about is cutting out those circles to make some of those. Or, you know, you can use them in your junk journals, whatever you do with paper. Oh, do they, Debbie? These don't, but I did sand. I always take a, a little sanding block and just kind of lightly sand over any wood that I'm using. And that will usually solve that problem. Is usually it's just not quite sanded enough when you get it in the mail or wherever you buy it. So if you'll take a sanding block and just kind of lightly sand everything and then wipe it off really good, usually that makes your wood smoother. The machine that they use will do it, but it's never as good as we can do. So I usually do that. Okay, we're ready to start painting. So we're going to get down some blue and I'm using Royal Navy and I'm just going to put down quite a bit of this blue color. I don't even really need to mix anything with it. I'm just going to use the blue and I'm going to try to be careful and because I'm not taping the wood, you know, I could go in here and tape the wood Let's see if I'll just kind of get up next to it. My brush has a lot of water on it, which probably isn't a good thing. But if you'll just kind of get your brush up here and just run it along the edge, you'll be fine. And then just, you know, spread that paint around. This will take definitely two coats because I did get a lot of water on my brush 
So as you can see, it's very uh, liquidy. It's not good and thick like usual, but that doesn't hurt anything. Hi, Ann. I'm so glad. So what time is it there? I'm going to have to learn what what time it is in Ireland and so that I don't always have to ask you. Is Anne the furthest away? She's in Ireland, so is anybody watching from anywhere else out of the country? Isn't it pretty, Minnie? I do love this color, too. I use it a lot. It's a just a really good blue. Royal Navy. Sometimes you pick up a little goopy thing. Oh, actually, that's a piece of the of the base. I forgot I did see that on there. It's I think it's a piece of wood of glue that you know where they frame they put the frame on here. I think they just dropped a little bit of the time of the glue. So that right here, I don't know if y'all can even see that is part of it. But we're going to cover this up so you'll never know. But I love using these bases because it's like got the frame built in and just gives you something really pretty to work with instead of just a canvas. So sometimes I like to use these. Now you can take another color with your blue, like you could take a little um, white or a little bl black even, just anything and kind of mix it. Um, let me just do that to show you because it doesn't hurt to... 20 minutes past midnight. Okay, so it's already Tuesday morning over there. Very good. And I just need to remember, six hours. Six hours. So I'm just mixing a little black with this and just kind of get some of that black in here and make X motions with my brush. Just some kind of X's. Of course, I'm still trying to get up to the edges. And we're just going to get a nice, pretty background down. This would be great for your sunflower. I always love putting blue with my sunflowers. But today we're doing a little, I guess, a Halloween-ish kind of vibe. I'm not a big Halloween person. I'm not going to be doing, you know, anything scary. We're going to do a kitty cat today. But it's going to be cute, not scary or spooky or anything. And honestly, just kind of for the techniques of this, you know, I like doing a few things each season that are seasonal. And we did a Frankenstein. If you didn't see that, he's really cute. See, so if even if I do something like this, it's going to be the cute version. It's not going to ever be creepy. So he's kind of fun and that's why I gave him the pink and the glitter and all of that. So we're kind of doing the same thing with our little cat here, making it fun. Just X. I like seeing some brush strokes is why I like doing the X motions. But of course, you know, your painting will cover a lot of this up. I'm going to dry this and we'll go to the next step. But I do, if you haven't seen me, I do like to squeeze out all that extra paint. Now this is going to make my water murky because it's a lot of blue. So if I can squeeze out a lot of it before I put it in there, it will help and not be so bad. Thank you, Christy. He's fun. Hi, Penny. You painted him. Yours looks mean, though. It's probably the eyes. It's easy to get mean eyes. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I painted the other day, and I accidentally gave it those kind of eyes. I think it was the squirrel. It was that squirrel, and I gave him some eyebrows, which made him look mean, and I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm sorry, Cheryl. You've been doing pretty good, haven't you? I guess that is to be expected some. They can't all be good days, but I pray that you will 
rest and not be overdoing it because you are still recovering. So I'm going to take my baby wipe and see if I can get some of that blue paint off where I wasn't careful. But it's okay. Even if I can't, we can paint over it with our brown. But if you can catch it right away, that's ideal. So just see what we can do here. So see, much better to be careful and not do that, but it happens. So now I've got to get back into my blue and add a little blue right here. Or, oops, I did it again. Isn't that a song? Oops, I did it again. Yes, y'all say a little prayer for Cheryl. She could use it, and I know lots of people on here today can use it, so if you need it, you can say, me too. I need a prayer too. I think that we're all in hard days and have lots of things going on that not even anybody knows about, so you don't have to give any details. Just let us know if you need the extra prayer. So, anyway, something like that. And what I'm going to do is just take a brush with some of this brown. Where is my... And I'm using the raw sienna for the frame. So I'm just going to put a little bit out, get my brush wet. And grab a little bit of that and just kind of paint right over... After a couple of coats of this, it, you won't even know I did it, and it's okay. You can fix anything with acrylic paint, you know, so don't worry about mistakes. We're all going to make them, so you just have to know how to fix it. Don't sweat the small stuff, that's for sure. Okay. Thank you, Minnie. Well, Ann, I hope that this will help you kind of relax and just get sleepy. I know you do, Cynthia. I'm praying for y'all. Hi, Sherry. Good to have you today. How are you? Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Teresa. Yeah, Brittany. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, Sherry. We're all too busy and don't have time to sit and chat, do we? Hi, Linda. Okay, I think that's good. So, here we go. We're going to draw us... Okay, I wanted a little... I started drawing earlier on my little practice, and then I decided to cut a little piece of this card. I had a card that had a piece... Uh, like cut into it, so I was going to chunk it, and I used it for this. So, what I'm going to do is line this up, just kind of start going and kind of outline around this little piece. Now you can just go for it, you know, and you don't have to really have a tracer or outline anything, but it sure does make it nice to have something to kind of go around. So I definitely like to give my group tracers to make it easy. So when I'm done, I will get y'all one for this little design in the group. But you can always kind of come up with, if you don't have a tracer, but yet you're wanting to do something, you can always come up with a, a tool like this. You know, you just kind of make your own little, now this one I can wing it and just know that I'm going to be painting, you know, something like that. Okay, now we're going to draw our little kitty. So let's do some cute little hands kind of puff, puffed up over here and over here. And then for his face, I'm trying not to go too dark with this chalk pencil because I probably will have to fix it some. But I just kind of sketch back and forth until I feel like it looks right. I mean, 
doesn't have to be perfect, right? Maybe not quite that tall. So let me grab a little brush that I can get a little bit of water on and just erase with my brush, you know, see if I like this. Think that'll work, guys. I think that's gonna look like a kitty. Hi, Jermaine. Oh, I'm glad. Yes, that's right. Oh my goodness. I get so tired of hearing, you know, you need to go to bed. <sighs> I'm just a late night person. Hi, Connie, you're late. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Hi, Sheila. Your daughter needs prayer. Oh, my goodness. Her plan. Oh, no. It did? Oh, my goodness. That's so awful. Wow. Oh, I'm so sorry. That had to be so painful. Okay. Now, let's do the fence first. I love showing how I do wood, um, painting wood. I just have an easy way, and I think, you know, everybody needs to have a little trick up their sleeve for easy. So I'm just going to put out a couple of browns and maybe a tiny bit of black. Not much. Won't take much at all. We'll start with this. And if I need to add something, I can. And I would like a little smaller brush, but I don't see one. That I, The one that I want. Here it is. I do see it. So this is just a smaller flat brush and I'm going to grab my two browns and just kind of start with that and go down each little wood slat. It's going to take two coats and you can turn this this way, which may help you because you can kind of butt your brush right up to the edge and then come down. So feel free to turn your canvas or whatever you're painting on. It's definitely a smart thing to do. You do not have to have it on an easel. You do not have to have it sitting straight. You know, you can move it however you want to. So our first swipe at these fence posts, you're just kind of putting both browns on and getting some color on them. I do want to go up and down with my strokes though. What's everybody having for dinner tonight? I don't know. I'm not hungry. And I did not have much lunch, but I'm not hungry. Thank you, Inga. I cannot wait to get to the glass and resin part. I feel like I haven't done a lot of it lately and I need to, I just felt like I need to get busy with some, I've got so many in the, in the rotation to do that if I don't start doing them, I'm not going to get them all done. So I decided to do one tonight. I bet y'all thought you were getting an ATC, didn't you? But I did upload an ATC for my Patreon friends and for the Art and Grace VIP group. So they got one today and um, thought I would do some glass art here. Just not enough time in the day, guys, to do, to do everything I want to do. I think he's going to be cute peeking over the fence. Thank you, Melissa. Hi, Marie. Looks like a co- Oh, you did? That's so sweet, Angela. That's a nice treat for you, too. You know what I mean? Like, you treated her, but then you got the the break to to get to do something different than the usual and on a Monday is always nice to give you something to look forward to that's why I like doing happy hour on Monday because 
you know, even if you're retired, you probably remember how hard Mondays are when you work and nobody really loves Mondays. So I think it's fun to come together and hang out. So I'm going right back over because as you saw, I put it pretty thin, so it's already pretty much dry. We're just going to go right back over with the same colors and then I'll show you my, you know, what I do to get more of a wood look. If these were larger, I could do more for you to show you, but these are small. These are very small little slats, about an inch wide or so. So I can't really do much of the technique that I do at this point. I'm going to have to kind of do it at the tail end. But I'm using this warm brown look because our painting is going to be the the black. We're having a black cat on a blue background. So we need a little bit of warmth and light in here for some contrast. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and make some what I call wood grain, you know, give it a wood grain look in a little bit. Mondays are hard, I know. Oh, good, Carrie. I think a lot of y'all liked those. So I'm excited to see. I've done a lot of spring and summer colors, but I had not done fall colors and I really like them. This is probably my favorite, this one. Um, and this one I put wire, this one I just hot glued together and put the button, you know, you can do anything. I love putting brads. I just don't have any right now, but you can do a lot with that. Okay, we're going to start with our kitty. While we let that fence dry. Oh, if I, if I squeeze this too hard, it's going to go everywhere. I can just feel it. You know what I'm talking about? When, when it's got like a little goopy in there and if you press too hard, it's going to go all over the place. So there. I'm going to stick with this small flat brush, but you can go to a round or a filbert. Any of them will work. And we're just going to get the kitty painted in black. I'm going to go in between the slats, you know, up in a couple of the slats in just a second so that it's black behind the kitty too. But I want to go as fast as I can so you guys won't leave me. Because if I go slow, y'all are going to be like, I can't stay for all this. I was going to be in an event Friday and I put it on my page. So some of you have seen it. It's the event with Cheryl and Sheila um, Autumn Festival, I believe it's called. Um, and I am not going to be in that event after all. I had to cancel. So um, I'm still leaving it on my page. I, I want y'all to attend if you can. It's going to be really good and I really wanted to be a part of it, but I just have something that came up that I've got to do. So I can't and it really bummed me out because I sure love those ladies and was looking really forward to doing that. But they were super sweet about me having to cancel. I wish I could do all of the fun things, you know, we don't ever want to miss any of the fun. We're going to do a few things to this little kitty. So it won't be just a solid, solid black, but you don't have to do much. So this is the perfect little painting for beginners or anybody who's not, you know, comfortable painting or doesn't want a difficult painting. This would be the perfect one. So this would be a great one to try. Thank you, Vicki, for sprinkling. I know, Marsha, I'm so, I was so bummed, but... Family first, and I've got something I've got to do. Okay. Taking a very small detail brush, and I'm going to go into that black, and we're going to come in between the little slats here. 
and just get us a little swipe of black so that you can feel like that kitty's back there, not just the head, right? <laughs> and you can clean up any anything, you know, if you went over at all. So, let's turn it this way. Okay. And then I'm going to take some black and pull it to the side and add a little white and get kind of a charcoal color going. Perfect, Ann says. That's cute, Ann. Perfect. Tell me if you have a cat. Who has a cat? Who has a dog? Or do you have both? We've had both at one time, and my daughter's cat passed away, so we only have one dog now. We typically have two, but we only have one, and that's all we're going to have till this one. I mean, I don't ever want to again, I don't think. It's too hard to even go on vacation, you know? So I'm just going to take this gray and come in here and give, like, the paws a little highlight. I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. Let's go to a fluffy um, round brush and grab some of that charcoal. I'm going to offload a lot of it too. I don't want too much on here, but we're going to kind of puff around. I'm just going to give little puffs with this charcoal around the tops of the paws. And that will kind of separate the paws from the face. And then also puff around is what I'm, <laughs> my technical term. And just kind of put that some on the ears. Now, this won't show once we get glass on it, but not everybody's going to add glass. So that's all you can, you know, have to do to kind of give the cat some dimension and some fun is just use a little charcoal and kind of give it some highlights here and there like that. You could put a little pink in the ears if you wanted. We have a yellow lab and a Shih Tzu. Chihuahua and three barn cats. I love cats. I just, we can't have one with this dog. She's crazy. Oh, how funny, Leveda. Oh, yeah, I forgot you did, Brooke. Fergie, Freya, and Frankie. So cute. I'm using a kind of a puffy, like, when you get old brushes or brushes that you've left in the water and they start doing this, can y'all see that? how it kind of separates. Um, don't throw them away. You can still use them. You can, first of all, try to clean it and see if that works. But if not, I use that and I'll just kind of tap, tap, tap. And it gives me like hair. You know what I'm saying? It kind of looks like hair. So I kind of do that around and kind of make the edges imperfect with that brush. Just tap around because, you know, cats are fluffy and Hair's kind of going all over, so we can do that. Like I said, I'll be putting glass, so this part doesn't matter for me, but for anybody else that's doing it and just wants to paint it and not do the glass. I'm going to kind of sweep a little bit more black. Be sure we've got a good dark color against that fence. Okay. Let's do some eyes. Oh, darn. You know what I forgot to do with that black before I finished? Oh, that's okay, Sherry. Glad you're here. Even if it's late, you have a Zoe. She's a black mouth cur. What's that? A black mouth cur? I don't know what that is. Thanks, Christy. Old lady, 17, and one that's five. Aw. Oh my goodness. One from eight days old. That's amazing that you were able to keep it alive. And, um, okay. I started to say I was going to do a spider up here, but then I forgot and got these out. So we're going to make a spider with this. So I don't need to paint that after all, but I do need to do eyes. So let's do, let's do yellow and white for eyes. We're blowing through this pretty quick. 
So I'm going to get yellow. I'm going to get some clean white. Your yellow is going to be a super translucent color. So if you'll add a little white as you do it, that will help you so much. So let me grab another small brush. I need a pretty small one because, you know, we're doing eyes. And let me just kind of get my bearings on where. So I think we're going to do some ovals. I can always perfect these. So I just kind of want to get placement and then kind of step back and look at it. Okay. I'm doing the white just because I didn't uh, use a trace or anything. I'm just kind of making sure I like placement before I go full in. And I think that's fine. They're not going to be completely perfect, but that's okay. Because wonky is great. And then I'm coming in with my yellow. That will mix with the white on my palette. Or you can mix them together. And get our first coat down. This will definitely take two, if not three. And I like to put, you know, like one thin coat, spread it out pretty good, and let it dry like that. So don't try to put it so thick that it'll take an hour to dry. Do a thin one, do another thin one, and maybe a third, and then you're good. But they dry quick that way. Do you guys have some grandkids that are going to do trick-or-treating or go to like a church fall festival? I always love to see them dress up. So, so cute. And I have to be careful because, you know, sometimes the, there'll be 10 of them at the door and I'll want to just, oh my goodness, look at this costume, you know, when everybody else is still standing there, you can't do that, you know? So I have to try to be like excited about all of them. Even though secretly, you know, we are all going to have a little favorite here and there. <laughs> okay. Now we can let that sit and dry while we move on and do something else. I'm going to show y'all how we can make a cute spider. Okay, that's good enough. I'm going to give him a little nose or like a little mouth. Let's give him a little mouth. Lab is Louie. Dixie is Namas. A Maine Coon. Oh, three kitties. Hi, Linda Sue. Your main can thinks she's a dog. Oh, green eyes. Oh, you could do green eyes. That would be cute. I'm just doing a green spider, so I thought I would do yellow eyes. Okay, let's do the little mouth. I'm going to take more of that black and, and white and make a little, you know, gray, charcoal -y color. Probably a little more. Oh, green eyes. Oh, you could do green eyes. That would be cute. I'm just doing a green spider, so I thought I would do yellow eyes. Okay, let's do the little mouth. I'm going to take more of that black and, and white and make a little, you know, gray, charcoal -y color. Probably a little more. Let me actually just use this pile right here. And do just kind of a little, small little mouth like that. I'm going to take, I think, some pink. Just a wee little dot. I'm not even cleaning my brush. Just a wee little dot of pink and kind of go right on the top of that. And do just kind of a little, small little mouth. Like that. I'm going to take, I think, some pink. Just a wee little dot. I'm not even cleaning my brush. Just a wee little dot of pink and kind of go right on the top of that. Okay. Simple, simple. 
Now, let's make the spider while the eyes dry. So I want the biggest one I can find. These just came, I think, from either Dollar. Simple, simple. Now, let's make the spider while the eyes dry. So I want the biggest one I can find. These just came, I think, from either Dollar Tree or Michael's, but probably Dollar Tree. So I'll just kind of look at them and find the biggest one and use that one. And then we're going to have some wire. I've got my hot glue you know, revved up over here, ready to go. And just, this is Dollar Tree wire or Michaels, whatever, wherever you get, you know, craft supplies. And I am going to cut four lengths of it. Let me move that. Hold, please. Can't, I don't have enough.